What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Here in this episode, we are checking out another news article, and this one is in regards to A Quiet Place Day One. It is a prequel movie. The idea of it sounds awesome to me. I love the Quiet Place movies, especially the first one. It is just such a... Uh, I mean, the sound design, everything. It is such an intense film. I love those films. And the fact that we're going to get a prequel one, I'm on board. And uh, yeah, we've got a news article here from CinemaCon 2023. We've brought you a few articles and some information that have come out of CinemaCon so far. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and dive into the story. Before we do, hit that like and subscribe button. And let's go ahead and do this. So... A Quiet Place prequel CinemaCon footage, Alien Meteors Destroy New York. New footage for A Quiet Place Day One reveals the horrors on display in the upcoming A Quiet Place prequel. The film will be released in theaters March 8th, 2024, which to me is just too far away, but that's okay. Uh, with Digimon Hounsou, if I pronounce that wrong, please, you know, don't cru crucify me here, uh, reprising his role from Quiet Place Part 2, in addition to Lupita Nyong'o's Joseph Quinn and Alex Wolf will be joining the film in key roles. Now, Paramount has released new footage of A Quiet Place Day 1 at CinemaCon, which I wish I could see. In the footage, it is revealed that the film will take place in New York and will follow Lupita Nyong'o's unnamed character. She can be seen in the street as alien meteors rain down from the sky on the day one of the invasion. Nyong'o's... I know, like once again, don't know if I'm getting that right, but we'll play a mother trying to protect her children in day one, which takes place during the events of the first two movies. Day one promises a brand new take on A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place Day One information was first revealed in early 2022, with production of the movie commencing in February of 2023. Uh, and Young O's starring role is similar to Emily Blunt's Evelyn, who is the sole parent of her children in A Quiet Place Part Two. However, Nyong O's will have to deal with the much harsher first day of invasion with multiple meteors landing in New York. What makes A Quiet Place Day 1 stand out from the previous two A Quiet Place films is its focus on the first days of the invasion being set in a time period where no one knows death angels are attracted to sound. A Quiet Place Day 1 promises tension surrounding the character's lack of initial knowledge. Audiences also know certain sound frequencies can make the aliens vulnerable. However, characters won't know this, adding to the terror of watching those first days play out. While franchise director John Krasinski developed the story, A Quiet Place Day One will be directed and written by Michael Sarnowski. The Pig director wrote the script with Midnight Special director Jeff Nichols, the new creative team indicating a different feel for the prequel. Now that the new action for the movie has been revealed, it seems A Quiet Place Day One will stand out as a frightening origin story for the franchise. Uh, yeah, I'm on board, man. I think The Quiet Place films are phenomenal. I absolutely love them. Uh, not having John Krasinski, you know, in the director's chair again, you know, kind of makes me slightly worried. But you know what? At, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm sure with him producing, with him, you know, having a, some say in this, uh, you know, I've got a lot of faith. The first two films are great. Uh, and if this is anything like the first two films, it's going to be phenomenal. The fact that we get to go back and explore day one, which is something that they just barely touched on in A Quiet Place Part 2. We got that phenomenal opening scene in A Quiet Place Part 2. And then for the most part, you know, A Quiet Place and A Quiet Place Part 2 take place, you know, after the invasion. So to not only see the first days of this invasion, but to see the first days of this invasion in New York City, I'm sold. I'm 100% in on this one. I mean, phenomenal, phenomenal. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see some footage on this. I can assure you guys, as soon as we see some footage, I will be doing a reaction on that because I am a big fan of this franchise. And, uh, yeah, you guys, let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think of this new prequel. Are you guys excited for another A Quiet Place movie? Did you guys enjoy the first two? And, uh, yeah, just let me know about all that in the comment section below. Also, please check out my description box. You guys can find a link for my Teespring store, a link to my second channel, which is called The Cellar True Crime. Uh, tons of horror stories, true crime-related stuff, accident stuff. I'm doing all kinds of content over there, so if you guys could go check out my second channel, I'd appreciate it. And also, please give that a like and subscribe as well. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Until next time, peace.